What's up guys? Welcome back to NTLP. My name is Nick and this is the place to be for everything landscape photography. We're doing a revamped top five landscape photography apps available for both iPhone and Android. Should be a good one. Let's go. <laughs> guys before i jump into this video if you could hop down there hit that subscribe button just mm, smash it 2021 style as peter mckinnon would say while you're down there hit that like share and bell notification it'll let you know when i upload my next video what i know yeah also, <laughs> also follow me on social media instagram facebook twitter all that good stuff links are in the description below all right let's go all right, so top five landscape photography apps revamped from my first ever video. If you guys want to go search for it, it's, it's down there somewhere, somewhere in my video archive. So app number one available for both Android and iPhone. Uh, this is the only paid app that I'm putting on this list. It's the photographer's ephemeris. Uh, it costs $9.99 in the US and $13.99 in Canada. A little brief description, the photographer's ephemeris helps you plan outdoor photography shoots in natural light, uh, particularly landscapes and urban scenes. It's a map-centric sun and moon calculator. See how the light will fall on the land day or night for any location on Earth. This is my go-to app, <laughs> so absolutely. It does cost a little bit of a uh, little bit of coin there, but it is well worth it for sure. That was number one, photographer's ephemeris. Number two, for all you Aurora Borealis or uh, Northern Light chasers, uh, Aurora Forecast. This is number two. Uh, it's a, it's a free app. The Aurora for Forecast uh, lets you easily plan to see the Northern Lights. If you are a serious Aurora watcher plan to spend the night with Aurora Forecast app. It features a 30 minute Aurora Forecast. It gives you geomagnetic, uh, geomagnetic activity probabilities, auroral predictions, real-time solar activity, uh, Aurora probability map, and a whole lot more. All right, number three, Magic Hour. It's free, also called Golden Hour, is the time of day around sunrise and sunset when the light is great for photography and cinematography. It is typically when the sun is between six degrees below the horizon to six degrees above. This sunlight is evenly dispersed and helps you create great photos. Magic Hour makes it easy for you to know when Magic Hour is coming and how much time you have left once it begins. After the Photographer's Ephemeris, this is my second go-to. So, Magic Hour. Good stuff. All right, number four is Medio Earth. I'm surprised that this app is free. Like I said in my uh, original video, they could get away with, uh, with a paid version, and I would have definitely paid for it, but <laughs> it's free, so it's good. Adapted from professional weather broadcast uh, tools used by TV presenters around the world and created by the Medio Group, Europe's leading private weather company, Medio Earth truly brings the weather to life using high-end gaming technology and extraordinary graphics. Explore the Earth using uh, simple finger commands to zoom in and zoom out. Uh, pause, rewind, and move forward in time for a 24-hour forecast. Save unlimited favorited locations. Um, basically, it just gives you a whole breakdown of low, medium, and high cloud. It'll give you wind forecasts it, it's just a fantastic app so um definitely check out medio earth number five is my tide times <laughs> say that 10 times fast 
<laughs> uh, also free, it is fantastic if you're taking coastal shots. Uh, it'll let you know when the tides are coming in, when they're going out. Um, it's the, basically the only, only tide app that you will need. It, whether you're you're surfing, fishing, or planning your next epic landscape shot by the coast, it, this is the perfect app to tell you exactly when tides will be out and when they will be in. So you don't get caught with water halfway down your pants. So <laughs> just keep that in mind. My Tide Times supports over 40 countries, including Canada, USA, UK, Australia, New Zealand, and a whole lot more. So definitely, definitely check My Tide Times out, especially if you're planning a shoot on a coastline. Some honorable mentions here, of course, Google Earth. Uh, we all know what that is. You can kind of plan your uh plan your next landscape shot or shoot it just gives you a whole like a bird's eye view of everything that is surrounding you so definitely worth uh worth a download to your phone there just to just to have have when when you're kind of planning out your next uh landscape shoot and my last honorable mention and i don't know i kind of want to put that in the list but unfortunately the the limitations so far uh, kind of held it out of the top five. Uh, it's called Spots. Uh, it is free. Uh, capture the best photos in the world. This uh, this app is the travel guide for the visual generation. Spots will help you explore like a local expert. Currently, it features only 30 cities from across the globe and hundreds of unique locations to visit. More cities are coming. And that's what I'm talking about, the, the limitations of cities right now. They only have like the major cities like Toronto, Vancouver, Montreal, LA. There's only few cities. It's in its infancy right now, right? So um, if they uh, break it down by country or continent, absolutely. Yeah, this definitely could turn into something for sure. And uh, I guess we'll just have to wait and see. So those are my top five apps. For landscape photography, a remixed or a, a re-upped or a, a better version, if you will, <laughs> of, uh, of my original first video. So let me know down in the comments below. Did they, any of these? Have you ever used any of these apps? I'm genuinely interested in, in knowing if you guys ever used any of these apps to plan a landscape shoot. These top five I, I use daily. Just let me know down in the comments below. If you guys found this video helpful at all, please consider subscribing. Yeah, just 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 press just press that subscribe button. Also, while you're down there, hit that share, like, and bell notification. It'll let you know when I upload my next video. Yeah. Also, follow me on uh, social media: Instagram, Facebook, Twitter, all that good stuff. Links are in the description below. So I'm gonna leave it at that. And we'll see you in the next one. Peace.